Hey everybody, this is Josh from J4 again. As you probably saw in our press release, we've come up with a patent for a new mechanical switching arrangement to work with paintball guns, pneumatic launchers, otherwise. Airsoft would fit, everything else that, that would have a triggering arrangement would work. The thing we've ran into is we, we always wanted to do a mechanical gun. The J4 Torque was originally designed to be a mechanical gun. The original prototype is a mechanical gun. In trying to make it work well at high rates of fire, we found we had a problem with how you triggered it. So one of the things we did is go over various ways to make the gun work. So the patent we filed, it's just a provisional patent, is to allow us to produce a pneumatic circuit that allows the gun to always be timed. Now this isn't necessarily what we're going to build into the torque, but it is something that we're going to be able to put into other markers out there. In fact, one other marker that's coming out in the near future, we hope, will have this circuit in it. Now this is just a pneumatic circuit. It's nothing really crazy. It can be mechanical and it can have various components that are both in the system. It's not really driven by one or the other. But the way the circuit works is we have something we call a feedback mechanism. Now that can be as simple as a line that goes from the breech or from the valve chamber or that can even be something mechanical like a switch that's ran over by a hammer, say in a phaser. I'm going to go through the me mechanics of it real simple. I'll show you an example with a real gun and then uh, we can go back and forth uh, after that. So initially this is pretty simple. We'll start down here. Starts with a triggering mechanism. You guys should know what a trigger is. But there may be different ways to trigger this. We can trigger this by another pneumatic output. We can trigger this with a uh, electronics, like with a big solenoid or something like this. The triggering mechanism is kind of open to interpretation. That goes into an output. Now in this case, this is a switch that would be possibly adding air or removing air from the firing mechanism to make it activate. So if we just consider this the input to the firing mechanism, it's pretty simple. This could be a three-way type switch. This could be a little poppet switch. This could be venting this to allow the firing mechanism to move backwards. Either or, you have a firing mechanism in here and it, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It could be as simple as a sear, but for the most part, this would probably just be like the three-way or the electronic solenoid valve that's already in your gun. A three-way, five-way, piloted, whatever. That's this component right here. This here would be replacing the switch, the solenoid valve, in your existing paintball gun designs. That, of course, would fire the valve assembly. Now the valve assembly could be anything. I mean, we are talking about a phaser and a poppet, you know, options in here too. But it's more just adding pneumatics to the system so it can go. Now, this could also be a sear mechanism here. That really doesn't matter. The valve assembly would do its thing, but somewhere in that valve assembly, something's moving or air is being transferred. So you have a feedback mechanism that takes that transfer. So it could be a hammer that runs across the feedback mechanism could be the air from the breech as the ball is fired and pressure is applied there or it could actually come from the valve chamber so you can time the assembly to make sure that the valve only turns off the canceling system returning the fire mechanism when the valves dropped either completely or when the valve has added pressure to a new area or when the uh, valve has reached a set pressure the feedback mechanism could even have a certain pressure that it trips so that at a pressure that it trips that would go in and do the canceling system. Now the canceling system is really simple. It looks, you know, like it might be as complex as the rest, but this can be as simple as just a little bleed valve that opens up when this is tripped. Done in a pneumatic circuit, this would be a piece that comes down here and a little part moves. Done in a mechanical arrangement, as the hammer goes by, it could actually trip and hit that canceling system and bleed the air. Or you could even have this part here be mechanically or say pneumatically lifted and then this will push it out of the way changing the way the firing mechanism works. All of this is just a feedback loop. There's nothing very complicated to it but the interesting part is where it comes into the system. Now previous guns that are patented out there right now is one that shoot has a pulse valve and that pulse valve will go up there and time the gun based on how you adjust the bleed holes. The second option is like the Tipman RT which comes back and hits the triggering mechanism to take your finger off the trigger. Very similar but the purpose of that was to do rapid fire shots and the purpose of the pulse valve was to time the gun but you wouldn't have a feedback depending on this. In this arrangement you would actually cancel first shot drop off 
if you timed it based off of the breech or some components in the valve. So it would actually time itself depending on what the gun needs to do to cycle. I believe ports and some other stuff can be put in there to make it easier on paint. But this whole system is actually very simple. There's nothing complicated about this design. You could also slightly change it up by having the canceling system hit the firing mechanism and transfer the air or whatever mechanical needs to be done at that point in time to reset the firing mechanism. The idea is very simple. There's nothing very complicated. But you might want to see what it's going to look like on a gun. So I have an example for you. Ta-da! Here's a quest. On the quest, you have your standard triggering mechanism input, in which you go up to your firing mechanism, which would basically be a three-way switch, just like this. Then fire the valve assembly, and as the ball launches, in this case, saying we use feedback from the breech, that would come down, hit the canceling system, and stop the cycle of air up to the firing system. So this here could be built into an existing gun, like a Quest or a Shocker or something similar that's an inline spooler. And by using this arrangement here, you would have a mechanical gun in what was normally an electro electronic only platform. What does that mean for you right now? Well, it means hopefully in the near future you'll have more mech options for electronic guns. You're going to have a chance to go and buy mechanical versions of guns you know and love and hopefully we'll have more options on the market for all of you because this is out there. We're not going to charge a lot of fees. I, I don't think this is one of those patents that's going to make me a lot of money. I'm not going to hold off the rest of the in industry developing stuff because I want to hold on to this patent for the next 20 years or I want to make $100,000 off it. It's not the reason I have this patent. I have it mostly so we can let people know about it, share it, and get more mechanical designs out there in the, in the, uh, the industry. It's not something that if you are come up with an idea and you're like, I want to make this mech, oh no, this guy has a patent, don't worry about it. I don't care. If you're making a few, like you're making like five or six or ten, you know, I, I, I jokingly said, just, just buy, my, buy my guys some beer money, we'll, we'll be fine. Small agreements, no big deal. If you're a large manufacturer, like GI or Planet or somebody else, though Planet really doesn't need this for anything, let's work together. I'll send you some CAD. We can develop some stuff back and forth. I'd like to learn some tricks that you might show up with so I can put in some of my other designs or I can maybe pass it on to somebody else. But the idea is mostly just to patent it so that we all have access to it and we can play around with it and it doesn't get patented and sucked up to somebody and disappear like the MQ valve, which we haven't seen in years. I don't want to do that. I don't think this is one of those things where I'll make $100,000 on the patent. The idea is more just to put it out there, allow us all to play with it, and see what develops. That's more important to us, I think, the innovation and, and where people can go and what can, what can happen with it. So. If you want to, uh, again, torment us, j4pb.com. We've got some pretty cool looking new guns out there. If you guys have any questions, I know, just feel free to ask in the comments or harass us uh, on j4pb. Uh, at uh, Facebook, J4 Paintball, and we'll go from there. And if you are a large manufacturer or even a small manufacturer, or even a guy in your garage with a drill press and some brass, and you want to use this, feel free to contact us. We want to make sure that this actually goes out there, stays out there, and I really want to see what you guys can develop. I think it's going to be really fun. I think it can make the mech, mechosphere, is there a mech word for the industry? Uh, whatever it is, um, let me know in the comments below and tell me I'm an idiot too. But uh, let's see what we can develop. Let's see what we can come up with. I think it'd be a lot of fun to, to see what happens when we start playing with a simple circuit that allows us to start timing our our more complicated electronic designs uh, mechanically. Thanks a lot, guys. See you around.